There are 286 barrels on the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're inspecting those barrels. We're looking for any defects in that barrel. Most people don't realize the shape of a barrel has absolutely nothing at all to do with the aging of bourbon. It's just so you can move it around. Full of whiskey, it weighs 550 pounds. 50 to 70% of the taste of what's in the bottle comes from the barrel. And that'll depend on how you distill it, what your barrel entry proof is, what your grain recipe is, how flavorful the distillate is before it goes in. So it's somewhere between 50 and 70%. A newly charred white oak barrel traditionally is gonna be about 70 to 100 years old. A uh, white oak tree is to bourbon. What a grapevine is to wine. What peat is to scotch. It's where your tree grows for those 70 to 100 years that the roots are busy picking up flavors from whatever grew around the base of that tree. So the soil, clay, decomposing foliage and vegetation are all factors in that taste profile of the barrel. When a cooper builds a barrel, um, it's not just a barrel. There's 30 to 33 stages in the making of a barrel. So theoretically, you could have 33 different trees in the making of that barrel. So it's more than just a barrel because each one of those staves brings a component to the taste profile of that product. We use the best white oak logs we can find on the market. Um, all of those white oak logs are processed at our individual state mills, so we're able to control the quality of that. When it gets to our facility, we raise all the barrels on our own. We own our own cooperages so we can do some unique things here. One of those unique things is we toast every single barrel. So every single barrel is put on a high radiant heat, attracts all of those flavors to the inner part of the barrel where the whiskey or bourbon's gonna touch. From there, it's gonna go over to the char fire. And at the char fire, that's where it's actually caramelizing those flavors that were brought to the surface. The char allows the whiskey to get into uh, the barrel staves, and that's where those flavors are. The longer it's in that barrel, the more those flavors it's picking up. I believe that the maturation is really the magical part. It's the one part that you can't honestly control. It just happens how, how nature wants it to. Bourbon takes time. You don't make it today and sell it tomorrow. You know, you gotta put it in the barrel, let nature take over. Hot summers, cold winters. You need both. The hot summers, the whiskey expands, goes into the wood. In the winter time, when it gets cold, it contracts and comes out. That's where we get all the color and a lot of the flavor. So that's where you've got to be patient. You've got to leave it alone, put it away in the rack house, and let nature take over. 